Regular people are making thousands of dollars every day from a single TikTok trend. And so today I'm about to make $1,000 in 24 hours by doing the exact same thing. But what exactly are they doing? Well, there's a trend going around TikTok called the TikTok NPC Live Trend. The way this whole thing works is that TikTok viewers can send virtual gifts to people streaming on TikTok Live. Each of these virtual gifts is worth a certain amount of real money, which the streamer gets to keep. The way that these NPC streamers encourage people to send gifts is by acting in a certain way or saying a certain phrase so that people feel inclined to send even more gifts. Howdy, bitch. Howdy, bitch. I didn't want to attempt this challenge blind, and so the first thing I did was hop onto a TikTok live and try to understand the gifting system from the viewer's perspective. I also took a look at a big list of virtual gifts and how many TikTok coins each gift costed so that I had a rough idea of the relative pricing. But because I'm a bit of an idiot, I didn't actually bother checking how much each gift was worth in terms of real money. Huh? After having a look at another TikTok NPC streamer, I realized that each streamer had a unique set of phrases that they used to react to certain gifts. For example, Stop, you're gonna break the sofa. Ice cream, yum yum, brain freeze. Thank you for the rose, smells good. <gasps> My memory is pretty bad, and so straight off the bat, I knew there was absolutely no way I would be able to remember a whole list of gifts and phrases to react with, especially since I only had less than a day to prepare. And so I had to think of an alternative. I went back to my TikTok roots and thought about the things that made people watch my videos in the first place. And that's when I realized it might be a good idea to incorporate NPC dances, such as the gritty. Whenever people would send virtual gifts, I'd be able to pull out an NPC dance out of my bag of tricks. And so after all this planning, I was finally ready to start my first NPC TikTok live. But nothing could have prepared me for what happened next. Gritty, I need a gritty, I need a gritty. The next hour was gruesome. Literally hell. I was doing a dance after every single gift I received and I didn't realize how quickly I'd burn out. After the first 15 minutes, I was exhausted, but I wanted to stay for the full one hour just to see the earnings potential. Another issue I encountered was that my reactions were all over the place and I found it difficult to associate certain dances with certain gifts. Oh yeah. And remember how I never checked how much each gift was worth in real money? I literally had no idea which gifts were worth a lot and which gifts were worth nothing. At times, I was doing a whole dance routine workout for a rose gift that literally cost one cent. Mmm, smells so nice. <laughs> I'm dying. In terms of viewership, I had around 300 views at the 20 minute mark, 400 views at the 40 minute mark, and 500 views by the one hour mark, at which I ended the stream. <sighs> Oh, oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm never doing this again. After I ended this first TikTok live, I realized I made two crucial mistakes. Number one, I didn't record the TikTok live properly because the live chat and the gift notifications didn't even save to the recording file. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea that it wouldn't save to the file and I probably should have checked beforehand. Number two, I forgot to screenshot the amount of money I made from that single live stream, and so I had nothing to show for it. Again, that's my fault, I'm sorry. At this point, I was fucking miserable because I knew I would have to do this all again. But this time, I had a proper game plan. I would be making $1,000 in 24 hours. To do this, I needed to consider that an average working day consists of eight hours. But for me personally, my working day consists of 13 hours. What? And so all I needed to do was achieve an hourly rate of around $77. There were five key lessons that I learned from my first TikTok NPC Live that I needed to think about before going into my final TikTok Live. Number one, I needed to fully understand how much each gift was worth in terms of real money. This time I decided that I wouldn't do a dance unless the gift was worth at least $1. This way I could ensure I wouldn't get tired out too early in the live stream. Wait, what the fuck is this? Who the fuck is paying $400 for a fucking whale? Just go to McDonald's or something. <laughs> Number two, I needed to post a normal TikTok video before going live. This was probably the most useful tip out of all of them, since a lot of people ended up coming to the live stream purely because of this post. Number three, I needed to set stakes and encourage people to gift. I learned about this one after coming across a TikTok live that was using reverse psychology to get people to send gifts. We are literally one galaxy away from having to over. So if I see even that one person's in the galaxy, you're done. The way this one worked was that he would have to knock over his card tower if someone gifted a galaxy. But after no one was gifting him a galaxy, he started making fun of his 12 year old viewers for not having enough money to gift him a galaxy. None of you guys even have enough coins or a galaxy, ha ha. And so inspired by this guy, I decided I would twerk every time someone sent me a galaxy gift. For my final TikTok live, I was only gonna go live for one hour. And considering my 13 hour working day, that would mean I would have to earn $77 in one hour in order to equivalent to $1,000 in 24 hours. I set the live goal at 10 galaxies because TikTok actually takes half the money you receive from gifts. And so 10 galaxies would bring me to $75 instead of $150. And I assumed that people would also send random gifts that would make up for the $2 difference in my goal. And so now I was finally ready to tackle the NPC TikTok live challenge once again. NPC mood activated in three, two, one. Within the first few minutes, we were already at 400 viewers, which was largely because of the TikTok I posted 30 minutes prior. And soon enough, we got our first galaxy of the stream. <laughs> Oh, hand wave. Oh my gosh, thank you for the galaxy, Bahamut.
Oh my gosh, the first galaxy. I can't believe it. I also noticed a weird vein in my arm. Thank you for the weights. <clears throat> so strong. Look at the lighting, the lighting. Well, what's the, what the fuck is this? However, I did get tired at times due to the high energy I had to put on. And so I disguised my brakes as system reboots. System reboot. Resetting. AI reset. After getting so many virtual weight gifts and flexing my right arm all the time, I decided that I would flex my left arm this time. But this is where I made a terrible mistake. Thank you for the, for the arm. Okay, where's the left arm? Oh shit, I'm like SpongeBob. Look at this. Wait, look how bad this is. Oh my god. AI's legs are getting tired. AI needs to go grab his chair over there. Thank you for the soccer ball. Thank you for the, for the weight. Actually, I really need to hit the gym. And then we hit our second galaxy. <laughs> Wait, thank you for the galaxy. <laughs> AI broke his back. And our third. Um, how can I tell how many people? So, oh, so two people. Okay. <gasps> oh, thank you for the galaxy. Oh, oh shit. Wing oh. Guardian Leviosa. Wrong game. Thank you for the ruse. Mmm, thank- oh shit, fuck. I forgot what to say. Uh, reboot system, system, failure. Thank you for the lollipop. Thank you for rainbow. Wow. Thank you for the hand wave. Light speed. AI is going light speed. AI is out of control. At this point, I was live for around 30 minutes and getting kind of bored. And so I made up a story that someone was holding me hostage and standing off camera with a baseball bat. Thank you for the rose. Mmm, smells so nice. Help me, please. Thank you for the song. Uh, for the tinta. Okay, okay, relax, 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 relax. relax. Oh, ah. Thank you for the rose. Mmm, smells so nice. Okay, okay, smell. Thank you for the rose. Smells so nice. Smell, smell so nice. Smell so nice. He has a baseball bat in his head and he wants. Oh, galaxy, yes, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, galaxy. Okay, the man with the baseball bat wants me to gritty, unless uh, he's gonna hit me with the baseball bat. Okay, so. Since we hovered at around two to 3,000 viewers for the entire stream, we got a lot of the galaxies very quickly, and so I won't bore you with them. But here's how the live ended. Two more galaxies, and then I can stop doing this. Oh. Thank you for the weights. Oh my gosh, thank you for the galaxy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, thank you for the other galaxy. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, chat, 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 I'm turning into XQC. Fuck, why am I turning into XQC? Fuck, oh my gosh, the other galaxy. Thank you. Oh, okay. I can finally, I can finally end. In one hour, even after the 50% commission, I was still able to make $78.16. And if we multiply that hourly rate by my 13 hour working day, we would have made $1,016.08 in a single day. And then if you convert that to the Guyanese dollar, it ends up being over $200,000.